Hi there guys, in this video we're going to have a look at Pasmatic Shields. These are a special PowerPoint reward for being allied with um, Ashlyn Deval down the bottom here. Uh, you've got to be allied with her for four weeks and have a high enough rank with her. Uh, and then she'll give you access to these special shields. So let's go into the outfit and, and have a look. So now we're going to go into our internal compartments. Uh, for this I'm going to use the class 7 slot on this ship. Uh, so we need to go and find the shield generators. Uh, it might be better to change this around the other way and put high to low. Uh, as you can see we've got the prismatic shields here. Uh, basically these offer another option of shielding. They're kind of like having the next kind of class up. That being like if you've got a 7A like that, it's kind of like fitting an 8A. Uh, however, they do have a little bit of a down draw that they often are about twice the weight. They also do have a higher power usage. Uh, so let's go and have a look at a couple of them. So what I've done here is I've got two shields side by side. I've got the prismatic shield on the left and the standard shield on the right. Uh, as you can see they're both class 7 and they're both A. However the mass between them, you can see the prosthetic is twice the heavy. Uh, it's got some integrity, the power draws more. Um, but you can see the minimum and maximum strengths are higher even though they're both a A7s. Uh, the regen rate is pretty much the same. Uh, the broken regen rate, which I guess when the shields are completely out, uh, the prosthetic is slower. Uh, it draws about the same from the distributor, and the resist resistances of both shields are the same. Uh, so that is an at class 7A. So what I'll do in a sec, let's have a look at the class 6. So now we're comparing the class 6s. Uh, as you can see, there are again about double the difference between them, even though they're exactly the same class, class 6. Uh, as you can see, the mass is double between 80 and 40. The uh, power draw is not quite double, but it's a good chunk more. Uh, and the actual sealed strength is a bit more by about 30%. So what we need to do is to kind of have a look at the different classes of uh, different ranges. So let's have a look at that. So when you look at these two, you see I've got a class 6A Promestic Shield versus a class 7 uh, Standard Shield. Uh, you can see the mass is exactly the same. The power draw is even uh, lower on the Standard Shield than the Pesmatic. Uh, the hole levels and that. I guess that's kind of a little bit slower, a bit smaller. Um, the shield strength, it's, the Promestic is probably a little bit stronger on them instances. Um, but as you can see, there isn't miles between them, but that is a class 6A versus a class 7A. Um, and like I said, it's kind of like having the next shield up, kind of. Not exactly, but anyway, hopefully that gives you a little bit more in-depth guide of what they are. So in, in my previous example, I just sort of showing you that there is uh, not so much of a difference between the two classes, even though they are completely opposite end of the scale of being 6 and 7. Um, like I said, the Promedic Shields are have quite a few down draws that they do draw a lot more power, which can be an issue in quite a few ships. Um, they're obviously a lot more heavier, so it's going to limit your jump drive range. Anyway, guys, that's the Pronastic Shield. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and see you next time.